Hello everyone, Sawtooth again. Hey, we're looking for Shoestring right now. I'm not sure where he's at. Um, he took off from his apartment down in Tennessee. Now his friend Troy has been doing some live broadcasts on TikTok. He uses the name Anywhere Man. I've been on there watching. We'll be on there to see if he comes up with any kind of information on whatever happened to uh, Mark. Apparently he left his apartment Wednesday morning and nobody's seen him since. And he left his, um, his ID, his wallet, his camera, everything he left at his apartment. So he's missing. Last I heard from him was Sunday, a little over a week ago. A few days before he went missing, he sent me um, a little text. We've been texting on Friday and Saturday. But um, hopefully he'll show up. I've got some video here times that we were together i want to show that the first clip is the very first time when i actually ran into uh shoestring in kentucky and some of the other clips are going to be from iowa tennessee and i think bristol virginia so here we go start the video son now i've never been on tiktok before but i did make an account just for this so i could get on anywhere a man's account troy and i can see what's going on the account that i made is called jaw tooth official and it's my first time to ever get on TikTok. I'm only on there until we can find shoestring. There you go, you got a car wanting to get through and they've got to wait for another one. That's pretty cool. Let's go up here and check out this light while we're at it too. I said, so I say something. Hey! Is it? Oh, I thought you were a what? copy first. Is that shoestring? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What's going on, man? Oh, wow. I didn't think you'd be up in this area. Hey, uh, nice to meet you. You too, man. Wow, this is pretty cool. <laughs> there he is. There's the legend. Can't believe it. Just running. I'm over here checking stuff out. You checking out this, this light or something? Yeah. That is pretty cool. Let me see that. That is awesome. That thing, you can see that for a couple miles away. It's huge. I like to climb up there. If y'all don't know who Jawtooth is, type in Jawtooth on YouTube. Uh, he's got a lot of really good videos. Yeah, and there's Hobo Shoestring right there, too. He's got <laughs> tons of videos on there. Hops trains all over the place. How long have you been doing that? Oh, God, uh, 32 years. Holy cow. You've been everywhere. Oh, yeah. I figured one of these days I'd probably bump into you, though. Yeah, I was thinking that, too, that last time. I went up through Cincinnati, like, what was it, a year ago? We just missed each other. Oh, cool. So, um, you just come up from Tennessee right now? Yeah, I, it took about 12 hours to get here from Kingsport. Yeah. And then I uh, spent last night here waiting, but uh, I'll, I'll get out today, though. Oh, that's cool. So you, you just came up and you got in last night and then you camped out, I guess, by the tracks? And... Yeah, down there by that uh, Memorial Bridge. That, okay, uh, on the other side of town? Yeah. Okay. I figured I'd come down here and make some video. Cool. I'm There's a lot of trains. <laughs> Another train way over there. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. I'm kind of shooting into the sun a little bit, but yeah, there's a train over there. What's neat is this uh, tunnel going all the way yeah i was wanting to film that i'm going to film that tunnel i'm going to drive through there you can ride my truck if you want i'm going to drive through there in a minute and check it out all right 1949 yep that's shoestring right there pretty cool can't believe that happened like here comes a car coming through maybe? yeah it goes a long ways i'd say there's close to 100 tracks on top of it i haven't counted them hopefully somebody will count them over. Yeah. Yep. It goes one way most of the way. You pull in just a little bit and then the road gets really narrow. It's only two ways at both ends for about what 150 feet, something like that. And then it goes one way. Okay folks, that was pretty cool down here in Raceland, Kentucky. And uh, we're gonna check some stuff out here and I'm gonna drive through the tunnel too. See if we can shoot a video in there, even though it's kind of dark in there. Shoestring, there he is. Make sure you <laughs> check out his channel. Hobo <laughs> Shoestring. Doesn't seem much traffic on there. 
Here we are. Now we're in another town. I think they call this Worthington. Yeah, we were up there filming on top of that tunnel, and I saw that police car come down and pull behind my truck. I thought, oh no. But he was just checking out the, uh, the traffic driving through there, just patrolling. I went over there and talked to him just for a minute, so he didn't care what we were doing. What do you think about that shoestring? Yeah, I, I thought, how am I going to explain the gear and backpack to him? Well, yeah, you are taking pictures of trains. Why are you bringing a month's worth of clothes with you? <laughs> There's the Russell Station right there, and they've got a caboose over there too. Awesome. So you know, caboose. Cool. Yeah, I sure hope he's found safe here pretty soon because Shoestring and I, we do text quite a bit. About a week ago, we were texting, trying to make plans to get together and do some filming. Uh, I was gonna go down there to Tennessee and visit him. Here's another random clip of where we were filming together. So keep the video going, son, here we go. Covington with shoestring back here. There you go. There he is. The man of the hour. And we're over here watching trains. Look at there. Live action. Hello everyone. I'm in Galesburg, Illinois right now. And I've got the BNSF track up on top and it goes over a BNSF track on the bottom. This is a really cool place. There's Hobo Shoestring right there too. How's it going, Hobo? Good. So you got BNSF on the top up there and on the bottom. So hoping to catch a BNSF freight train. And check out this here. If you're walking by here at night, don't go making a bad step. Look at there, you make one wrong step, you're down in the hole, son. Got some minnows down there. Wow, what do you think of that? Looks like they had, must have had a walkway or something going across here at one time. It's all rotted out. This is pretty cool looking though. Right next to the road. Just don't make a bad step and fall down in there at night time. Anyways, I'm hoping to catch a freight train going by, but I'm told that there's gonna be an Amtrak train coming through here pretty soon. Could be any time, so start the video, son. Oh wow, we got a train coming. Galesburg, Illinois. Let's see what we got here. Well, we got another train just showed up over here on top. But wait, there's more. Yes, there always is. And here you'll see a short interview I did of him in Illinois when a train came and kind of interrupted us. And I showed the first part of the train and then you'll see a train that stopped with a boxcar door open and beans were falling out. So here we go. Hello everyone, Jaw Tooth here. We are with Hobo Shoestring today. We got some questions we want to find answers to. Everybody's interested in. So, my first question: What's the longest trip that you've ever taken on a train? Hmm, that would be Albany, New York, to Sacramento, Roseville, California area. Holy cow! How long did that take? Uh, six days. Wow, but that's a good one. Yeah. Hey, how do you use the bathroom on there anyway? 
Well, you take Walmart bags, a lot of them with you if you're going to be on a trip for a day or two, and just go on one of them and tie it up real neat. When you're inside of a box car? Or? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you're on a grainer or something, you can either do that or just hang your butt over the edge, passing through the woods. Is it kind of hard getting on the train? Mm. When I was young, uh, I could catch maybe 15 miles an hour. Oh, Usually wow, I, that's pretty fast. Yeah, I, I would try maybe at seven or eight, but nowadays, if it's going faster than walking speed, I don't even try. I got that bucket and then the water and pack. So I I just wait till they're stopped, like here in the yard behind us. So most of them will be stopped, and then you'll find, what, like a covered hopper car or a box car yeah, or what? I, I'll try to find a box car, but if not, I'll, I'll get on a grainer, one of them Cadillacs that's all surrounded on each end. Cool. That way you're protected from the rain, too, and the sun. Yeah, do you get stuck in the rain on the train very often? Well, I, I got a really good uh, Doppler radar app. A couple of them I use always. If it's more than 30% chance of rain, I watch that all throughout the day, kind of prepare myself. Oh, that's cool. Hey, how many states have you ridden the train? Mm, been to all, uh, 49 states on the freight train. Holy eight, cow. Eight provinces in Canada and... 14 states in Mexico, old Mexico. Wow, I didn't know you rode the train in Mexico. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that was a long time ago, back, back in 92. Was it hard getting across the border? Nah. Actually, it was probably harder getting back into the U.S. than it was getting into Mexico. Wow. Do you see very many other hobos when you're out there on the train? Mm, right now, not too many. But back when I started riding, you might, God, you might see five or six in every town you get off in. Not too many anymore. I don't know why that is. I just thought maybe after 9-11, everybody kind of got scared to ride. I hmm. think it fluctuates over years. Do you ever bump into the same hobo like twice? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah? Three uh -huh. or four or five times. And how fast do the trains usually go that you're riding on? Well, most of the junk, like behind us, is 40, 45 miles an hour. But uh, you get on a piggyback or one of them double stack containers, you do about 50, 55. Wow, that'd be cool. Riding the night away yeah. and one of those things cruising down through there. Make some miles. I've been on a train and uh, when you drop a rock out, the, the door hits the ballast and it sparks. You ever see that happen mm. before? Pretty cool. What about, you ever have any problems getting on a train? Mm. I used to be able to get inside gondolas, but now I got that bucket and then missing fingers. It, a train's got to stop and crew change for me to get on safely. Have yeah. you ever been stranded somewhere? A few times I've been set out a day or two, but I usually just end up hitchhiking out of there, get back to a better area. Wow. I guess you ride through these huge railroad yards too, don't you? Mm -hmm. Not as much as you used to, plus they're starting to shut down a lot of these hump yards now. What's that like riding over a hump? Now that would have to be something there. Mm -hmm. Well, you you get over that hump, you slow down to about seven miles an hour when you crash into that other car. Usually you know you're going over the hump, so I just lay down on my back, hit, <laughs> usually slide across the floor five or six foot. Wow, that would be something. Hey, hold on a second. I think I hear a train coming. We'll, we'll cut this, this train coming. Here we go, son. Train. What direction? Well, here we are in Champaign, folks. We got a train coming. Check it out. A northbounder. Let's see what we got here. Canadian National. Okay, now is what I wanted to show you is this boxcar right here. The door is open. 
and these bags are about to fall out of this thing. They're full of navy beans. All these bags, look at this. They're about to fall out. I bet some have already. Wow. This one fell down here. I've never seen that before, stuff falling out of a railroad car. Look at that. They might think we did it if they... Yeah. Dang. Some of them have been falling out. He says unload this. Uh, yeah, right. Of course. Wow. Yeah, because you can tell where it was stacked up higher inside there. It's not very high here in the middle. I think somebody's been getting navy beans. If you lock in that box, Corey, at least you'd be eating and farting. <laughs> That's an old box car too. That that one's full of beans too. Oh, the other door is open too. Oh, is it on the other side? Yeah, just cracked. Hmm. Wow, looks like somebody broke into this thing. They're stealing the navy beans from them. Those are big bags. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be oh, around wow. here very much. I went on the thinking that. Oh man, that's a, I wonder where beans are going like that. Like human consumption. That's pretty interesting. Right next to a little gravel road over here too. Well, we bumped in the shoestring over here, and he's putting his tag on the box car. Ain't that cool? But wait, there's more! Hello everyone, Jawtooth again. And today I'm in Tennessee. I'm over here at Shoestrings Place. And we're getting ready to go to some trains. We're going to head over to Bristol and go to the state line of Virginia and Tennessee and check some trains out. You ready to go over there, Shoestring? Let's get her done. All right, here we go. Woo, this is going to be fun. Ah, but wait, there's more. Of course there always is. Hey, check this out before we see the next train here. Shoestring's got all kinds of cool train stuff in here. Look at this. These are bigger scale trains. Garden Railroad, I think. I think that's what they call them. But he's got some tiny ones over here too. I think that's, what, in scale right there? I think that's those are Christmas ornaments there. Oh, okay. But I got some in scale in the hall here. I might check those out too. He's got some cool stuff here. Look at this. Wow. And then the Heritage locomotives over there. I don't know how many of those I've seen so far. I always wondered about that. I probably haven't seen all of them. Got some birds right there. Hey there. Oh, they got quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> they got camera shy on me. Hey birds. And you got some more in the hall, some engaged ones? Yeah. Let's see, where are those at? In the void downstairs. Oh, downstairs, okay, all right. We'll show those later. Okay, we got a train coming right now. So let's go ahead and see that train, here we go. Well, here we are in Bristol, Virginia right now. We made it over here to the yard and they got a caboose. And I'm scaring some deer out while I'm talking. There's deer over there. Anyways, check out this caboose, folks. There was a buck standing over here next to this caboose just a few minutes ago. That locomotive's idling. Sure would like to see that thing going. Let's see a train go by here. That would really be cool, because I'm ready. All right, check this out, folks. Right now, I'm in Tennessee. Now, I'm in Virginia. Hey, I'm back in Tennessee again. I'm right on the state line over here in Bristol, hoping for a train to come. We got the train station behind us. There's no traffic, so I'm lucky. Let's go back over to Virginia. I am now in Virginia. And there's the train station right there. And the train with the caboose is sitting way down there. Okay, we are in Piney Flats, Tennessee right now. And there's a train stopped across the road right here. Cars are having to turn around. There's a whole bunch of them been coming and going. Not sure why the train stopped here. Apparently it's been here for a while. I'll show the locomotives here too. Here comes another car that's going to turn around. Got 
Got a train sitting right down here at Curtis, Tennessee. Not sure what they're waiting on, but they've been sitting there for a while. And the signal lights aren't even on for some reason. So we're not sure what's going on here. Nothing moving at the moment though. Well, we spent the day up here in Bristol, Tennessee, and nothing's going on because there's a train uh, that's been blocking the crossing all day. We're not sure why, and there's another train sitting up in front of it. So there's something going on, but no trains went through, unfortunately. But I've got some other footage for you. So go ahead and check this out, son. And here he is in Britt, Iowa, when he was running for Hobo King at the annual Hobo Convention. So here's his speech. Shoestring. Hey, how's everybody? I first come to Brit in 2000, and then I came again in 2001. But I didn't, I didn't run for king back then. Uh, but uh, back when I started riding in 1989, you could, you could get off a freight train anywhere, and there'd be seven or eight guys that camp in the jungle and you always had somebody there to take you under their wing and show you the way. Nowadays you can go into a camp and I mean you might be four or five months you might not see nobody and when I finally do I like to pass on my knowledge to the younger riders because that they just don't have anybody out really show them the way as often as I did when I was when I started riding trains. And of course it it's dangerous. I lost half my hand and Got hit by a car last year, so. But I wouldn't have it, I wouldn't live any other way. I'm happier right here riding trains, and I hope I have another 32 years of riding. Thank you. Still good to see Brick going strong. Live action. Thank you. Got a hobo shoestring over here. I don't know if you can hear him. He's right over here next to me. You'll see him in a second. Yeah, that was kind of a short one there. Yeah, only one engine, he may be going to serve refinery. Heading up the line here, local. Yeah, we're over here with Shoestring, Hobo Shoestring. We're along the high river here on the CXX line. I ran into him down here. He's got all his, his stuff here. We're looking around some trains here. Perfect timing. Yes. Yeah, hey, I stopped over here at Shoestrings. He's getting ready to catch out. There he is over there. What's up? Yo. I'm in Tennessee right now. Hello everyone, Jawtooth again. Got another great video for you. I'm in Allen, Kentucky, and I'm here with Hobo Shoestring. There he is. Hey, how's it going? Hobo Shoestring's here, and Troy's over here. Guess what, son? We got a train coming. So we're gonna see if we can catch over here at this crossing. Should be coming from this way. CSX train. This is Floyd County and just north of Pikeville. So the train's gonna come from that way at any time now. Here we go. Well, 
So there we got a signal for the thing heading northbound. And it's headed towards Louisa and Big Sandy Junction. That's the way it's going right now. All right, here we go. Just enough light left. Caught up the signal for Betsy Lane. They said they're westbound on the main. They're actually going um, geographically north, but it's considered railroad west. All right, that was a good one. All kinds of stuff on that train. Did have a boxcar, maybe one. Hey, who's that over there? Hey, there's shoestring over there. What are you doing? How's it going? Hey, what's up? Woo, it's no too noisy out here to talk. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. That was pretty cool. All kinds of stuff. Live action. Woo!
trying to get a good shot without getting right on the track. Go. Go. Oh, wait a second. I know who that is. Wow. All righty. Here they come. locomotives actually I think I see shoestring over there I didn't recognize him at first I feel kind of silly Santa, he's gonna be throwing some toys out here in a minute. There's a shoestring over there. Hey, <laughs> when did you get here? Uh, I, I didn't I see you. you. Yeah. <laughs> I got here about 30 minutes Yep, there's a shoestring right there, folks. Hey, how's it going? All right. Just now I ran into him again. The second time I bumped into him, bumped into him down in Kentucky. Of course, we did some rail fanning out in Missouri and Illinois, too. Oh, that was something with that wreck back here. Oh, That's going there, shoestring. It's a drone. I, yeah, it's I, drone I thought, what the hell is that? <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, he's just now landing it. Okay. He's now landing it. Well, at first, I thought it was a funny flying bird, and then I, I thought, well, maybe it's an RC plane, and then I was like, what the? Hey, what'd you think of that wreck over there? That was pretty bad, wasn't it? Yeah, that guy in that old older truck, he's pissed. He knows he's gonna get in trouble. Oh. Uh, oh boy. Somebody's he, not too happy over there. He slammed his brakes on in that truck in front of him. Golly. I wish I had my camera on that second When I heard you say, oh no, I thought it was getting towards me. They were. <laughs> they were heading right towards us. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, there comes the police for this wreck. The train just went by just a few minutes ago. Okay, here we go. I just now uh, gave shoestring the the present from Scott, the, um, what is that? Some kind of ornaments, I think, for a Christmas tree. Lionel, Lionel train stuff. That's kind of oh, cool. Yeah. There you go. I didn't have any decorations. I just got a tree last Christmas, too. I didn't have mm -hmm. a single decoration for it. That's pretty cool. It came from 1960 Gambit. Oh. There you go. There's the <laughs> Conrail, I think. Man, Conrail. My favorite old, old time railroad. Cool. It's a hit. Right on. <laughs> All right, everyone, hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching, and keep praying for Hobo Shoestring's safe return. All right, we'll see you later. A nice little doggy. Hey, puppy, look, look at here. Look at there. Get the ball. Hey, you got it. Cool. I hate it. Blue or orange can't. Hey, he wants me to throw the ball back again. 
Well, we bumped into Shoestring over here and he's putting his tag on the box car. Ain't that cool? If it's going faster than walking speed, I don't even try. I got that bucket and then the water in the pack. So I, I just wait till they're stopped like here in the yard behind you.